Hello, Mr. Enders, Mr. King. Thank you for taking the time for an interview. Thank you, Thank for, you for inviting us. us. How do you both feel about the result of your fusion plans? I feel that I am the clear loser of this cuck merger plan with BAE Systems. I saw many advantages for our corporate group and I still think that a fusion is the best decision. I didn't expect that the German government would not support me in these steps. And Mr. King, critics claimed you were not advertised the fusion deal aggressively enough. BAE is not well connected to the British policy anymore. The conservative liberal coalition pressured us and expressed critical doubts on the fusion so that Defence Minister Philip Hammond was influenced as well. What are you going to do now? There are many worries about possible job cuts because many assume that BAE will suffer from the lack of US orders. The merger did not happen because others failed to set up the needed requirements. The airplane and arms sector will keep changing for us. Now EADS has to invest several milliards to keep balance between civil business, especially Airbus, and our activities as a defense company. I have to admit that the future of us is unsafe as well. Perhaps the market will realize that BAE and the British government are essentially willing to cooperate with a larger partner. What is your upcoming in your point of view? <coughs> I think about investments, about mergers and acquisitions. We probably have to look into US states, the worldwide largest market for airplanes and defense companies. We are able to finance heavy acquisitions, but you, the US government must also agree to every merger or acquisition. What do you think BAE's fate will be, Mr. King? We can never be sure, but especially Northrop Grumman and Raytheon could be interested in us. Half of our sales occur in the US, and this was a key motivator for our interest in the EADS. Yes, and BAE Systems would have gained advantage of it in be involved in our EADS Airbus business. What would make them less dependent on the military? This is significant when you consider that next year the US Defense and Homeland Security spending will cut down. I feel that it is now possible that the BAE will be split and that competitors will take advantage of the acquisition of the high-tech department. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and time.